welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using artist markers to do no line coloring. For today's card I'll be using the frosted garden stamp set. Um, and this is a full uh, stamp set, there are no outline images. I've chosen this one big image um, from the stamp set and I'll first prep this with a rubber so that it holds on to the ink better. Next I'll use frosty pink ink to ink up the flowers only. And this I'll do by partially inking the uh, stamp set. Uh, this is why I'm using a stamping platform because it will be very helpful. For the leaves I'll use frayed leaf and um, you can even mask the flowers and then stamp the leaves but um, this way is okay as well. It doesn't matter if your flower is a bit green or uh, your stem is a bit pink. We will use artist markers to add details and color uh, to this image anyway so you won't be able to notice it. I'm using the red cosmos and green field set of artist markers. As always I'll start with the darkest color that is grape wine. I'll blend this out with ruby red. I'm adding color in a flicking motion and also going um, to curve my flicks a bit on the two edges of the petal, the sides that is, so that my petals have a shape to them. Since we have no guide, you have complete freedom to change the look of the petals. I'll use coral berry to blend the ruby red and the last shade I'll add is frosty pink which is the same as our base color. To get some better blending and adding more detail to the petals, I use frosty pink and coral berry artist markers where I'll pick up the color from coral berry with frosty pink artist marker. This will give me a third shade that is darker than frosty pink but lighter than coral berry. You will notice in the original stamped image we have an open space in the center. This part is up to you as well. You can make your own flower center. It can be big like mine or smaller than this. It is totally up to you. flower centers after I color the leaves. I am still deciding what colors uh, to use for the center. For the leaves I'll first use evergreen. This is the darkest color in the green field set and I will use this to add a lot of detail to the image. I'll add a midrib and veins and even add a hint of shadow. I'll blend the evergreen artist marker with forest glades artist marker. Again, I'll use a flicking motion to blend out the evergreen. I'll also use tip to tip method to pick up color from evergreen with Forest Glades Artist Marker. In the end, I'll use Frayed Leaf Artist Marker to fill in the spaces left. flower center I'm using warm sunshine artist marker. I'll add dots to the flower center. They will be um, slightly more concentrated where I want to show shadow. Then I'll add buttercream. Again in dot style uh, you, call, you can call it stippling. Then I'll add caramel toffee to the area where I uh, want to show depth. And lastly I'll use um, paper bag to add um, 
more dots and this will be the last uh, the darkest color and I will add this to show uh, more depth you can see how nice it looks and you can see the shadow plus where the sunlight is hitting the flower center I'll repeat the same stippling coloring for the remaining flower centers now to add a bit of shadow to my background, I'll use Moon Rock watercolor and add uh, the watercolor as stippling. I'll increase the concentration of the stippling where I want to show more shadows. Once I'm done with the background, I'll add more uh, shading with the help of a writing pencil. Also, I didn't realize uh, this while coloring, but I keep using my fingers to blend the pencil shading. Please do not do that. Use a blending stump. I don't know what I was thinking or not thinking, but uh, you definitely do not have to use your fingers to uh, blend the pencil sh pencil out. Um, I'm go not going to add intense shadow to the background like I usually do. I'll keep this soft and minimal looking. I'll add a few fine black paint splatters and then I'll stamp the sentiment hello along with an accompanying sentiment gorgeous um, and yes that is crooked anyway my card is complete and I hope you enjoyed today's coloring session see you next week thank you for watching everyone bye